I was hugely excited to win the John C. Marsden Medal uh, and an associated award of a thousand pounds. It's given to the the best doctoral thesis written in, in the subject of biology in a UK university that year. My thesis was titled The Changing Song of the Sea and it was all about how coral reefs sound. So coral reefs are one of the noisiest ecosystems that there are underwater and that's because they're home to such an abundance and diversity of life and a lot of the animals on a coral reef, the shrimps and the fishes, uh, will make noise and that noise combines to create what we call a soundscape and as it turns out you can hear lots of things about the health of the reef by listening to the soundscape. So a healthy reef is full of lots of animals that all make noises at different times of day and for different reasons and, and you can hear that. It's like walking through a wood that's full of birds, swimming through a reef that's full of fish is a really noisy experience. By contrast, a reef that is degraded will sound eerie and quiet, it's almost spooky. So my, my PhD explored the way that the soundscape of a reef changes as it degrades, but also developed new tools, new ways of using bioacoustics to help us monitor the health of reefs and to help us intervene uh, to restore reefs. At the very start of my PhD, the Great Barrier Reef, which was due to be my study site, went through the most dramatic episode of coral bleaching on record. Uh, that really set the scene for my PhD. It, it changed the entire plan. I ripped up all the old plans and, and decided to um, set about to try and understand what that degradation meant for the sound of the reef, what that meant for the future prospects of the reef. And then as the, as the PhD wore on and, and as I developed those ideas, how we could use what we understood about these changing soundscapes to better manage and better protect the reef. I mainly worked in two places. I started working on the Great Barrier Reef, which at the time was the world's most famous and dramatic example of coral reef degradation. And then I also worked in Indonesia, which is the country in the world with the most coral and the most coral reef restoration programs. So I worked with a, one of the world's biggest restoration programs in Indonesia. So I had these two places, the Great Barrier Reef, where I was understanding how and why reefs die, and Indonesia, where I was understanding how and why it's possible to, to bring reefs back to life. Soundscapes are really important for the health of the reef because they're one of the ways that fishes and other reef animals use to find a reef and to choose where to settle on a reef. So many of the reef's animals will start their life out in the open ocean. They'll develop there, they'll grow up, and then at the point where they um, they go from being a larvae into being a juvenile fish, they will need to come back to a coral reef. And one of the ways they do that is they listen. Because these reefs are so loud, and because sound travels really well underwater, from a long distance away they can hear a reef, they can swim towards it, and they can make a judgement based on that sound of the habitat quality of the reef. And so a reef that sounds healthy will attract a lot of fish towards it, by contrast, a reef that sounds quiet and degraded is much less attractive to new fish that might settle there. One of the things I demonstrated in my PhD was that when reefs degrade, they fall silent. And then those degraded silent reefs are much less attractive sounding to juvenile fishes. That's worrying because you can see that there might be a vicious cycle that might develop there, that as reefs degrade they become quieter, they attract fewer fishes, and they then struggle to recover because they're not attracting the next generation of animals. And so, yes, you can hear the reef die and, and that's tragic in and of itself, but it's also important for the future of the reef because it's, it's a functional role in the ecosystem that is starting to fall apart. We've developed a new technique to help with coral reef restoration. It's called acoustic enrichment. In one section of my PhD, I developed a new tool that we call acoustic enrichment. Uh, and that's this idea that if healthy sounding reefs attract fishes, then when you're trying to rebuild and restore a reef, it's important to restore its soundscape as well. 
So we used underwater loudspeakers to broadcast the sound of healthy reefs and found that in doing so we could double the rate at which juvenile fish would come and colonise a new habitat. So we hope that that will develop into a, an exciting new tool that can be used as part of reef restoration programmes around the world. And that is now starting to be trialled at scale uh, in several different locations uh, on different reef restoration programmes around the tropics. I'm now really excited to be working more and more on coral reef restoration. Uh, I've seen already in my short career to date a lot of degraded reefs and it's really inspiring for me to be working to try and develop and understand ways of reversing that trend, ways that we might be able to rebuild damaged coral reef ecosystems. Uh, and in particular, I'm working with some fantastic colleagues in Indonesia who are, are leading the way in this field. It feels really nice to be working on something that might be positive uh, rather than just describing the continued decline of the world's ecosystems. Winning this award has been transformative for my career um, in, two, in two ways. The first is quite personal and that's that it's given me a real confidence boost. Being a young scientist can be quite daunting at times. Uh, there's a lot of rejection involved in science, grant rejections, paper rejections. Uh, often you feel uncertain and, and underconfident in, in the work that you do, but winning an award like this has been a real confidence boost that has given me the belief that I can do more than I thought I could previously. And the second thing is quite a practical thing, and that's that this award has given me a really valuable it's like a badge of honour, almost, um, and, and I notice now that when I apply for funding, when I try and bring grants in, when I apply for positions, um, you know, and, and job applications and that sort of thing, it, it really does make a difference. People notice um, that, that you've been celebrated by a society like this, and, uh, and it gives me a real advantage going forward.